Alrighty, we are breaking kayfabe a little bit on the Noah Nation Gaming YouTube channel. No universe mode, no commentary today. We're going to be doing something a little different. WWE 2K23 is fastly approaching in March. And of course, as we know, John Cena, the cover star, will be the showcase mode this year. But it's an interesting showcase mode. As you all know, there is a twist on this year's mode. Uh, as instead of playing as John Cena, you'll be playing as past John Cena rivals who have defeated John Cena. Now, the computer, John Cena, will be trying to rewrite history and win those matches. You will be playing as the opponents trying to keep them the same. So, we do have several matches announced for this so far, several rumored, and we do have a confirmation that 14 matches will take place in the showcase mode. So, what we'll be doing today is predicting every single match, including the ones that are already announced, and kind of going in and filling in the holes as to what I think will be the John Cena showcase mode for WWE 2K23. Little bit difficult, I will say, because obviously John Cena did not lose that often throughout his career, um, but there is still some big matches in here, a lot of them already being announced, um, so it is kind of hard to um, pick out what else there would be. Of course, you know, you don't have uh, his CM Punk matches in here. You will not have uh, his loss to Daniel Bryan at SummerSlam 2013. There's a couple uh, names, you know, any matches with uh, Chris Jericho, maybe. I'm not sure if he's lost any of those off the top of my head. But there's some names and opponents that were uh, big rivalries and great matches throughout Cena's career that uh, some that he just didn't lose to and some that you just obviously won't have in the 2k games but with those 14 matches i think we still have a uh, a fun playthrough i'm not huge on the showcase mode but it definitely is worth giving uh one playthrough here so at, uh without further ado i should say let's get into the 14 matches i believe will be in the wwe 2k23 john cena showcase mode all right, so of course this list does include all the matches that were already announced. So kicking off the first matchup will be the match versus Kurt Angle, his SmackDown main roster debut in 2002. Kurt Angle returning to the video game. And that is one of the best parts of showcase mode over the years is that has given us the ability to not only get different renditions of the main character of showcase mode, but also get different renditions of the opponents of the, uh, you know, John Cena of all of his opponents in this case throughout the years that, you know, he will, you will be playing as in showcase mode and get some characters that might not normally be in the WWE games. Now, Kurt Angle, WWE Hall of Famer, legend, why wouldn't he be in the game? But he wasn't in last year's for whatever reason. So, Kurt Angle back in, the, back in the WWE games this year. Very excited about that. And, of course, this match was already announced. So, John Cena versus Kurt Angle from SmackDown 2002. The second matchup. A lot of people are predicting this one, and I really hope it does come to fruition. John Cena versus Carlito, Caribbean Cool, from SmackDown, October the 7th, 2004. Now, if you guys don't know, this was Carlito's WWE main roster debut, and he defeated John Cena on his debut night for the United States Championship. And I think this would be a great matchup to have in here. It gives us somebody we haven't had in the WWE games in how, how many years? Since what, maybe SmackDown versus Raw? Uh, maybe 09, 010, you know, I'm not sure which game it was, but it's obviously been well over a decade since Carlito was in the game, and it's not out of the realm of possibility. Carlito isn't signed to any other major companies. He did make that appearance in the Royal Rumble match two years ago, uh, which I don't know why the WWE didn't sign him, but it is what it is. But Carlito, I think, is a very realistic choice to have in the game, and I would love to use him on this channel in universe mode. So John Cena versus Carlito, SmackDown, October the 7th, 2004. Third matchup, another one that has already been announced, John Cena versus Rob Van Dam, One Night Stand 2006. Now, I'm uh, very excited about this match uh, being in the showcase mode for a numerous, numerous reasons, excuse me. One, just because it was a great matchup, a historic matchup. Two, because we will get a already done and finished One Night Stand Hammerstein Ballroom Arena, not one that's, you know, created online. We'll get one that's already done and finished, you know, pristine to, you know, how WWE uh, 2K presents the arenas in the game. So that is awesome. And number three, this means RVD will be in the game yet again this year. He was in it last year as a DLC. I was a little worried, you know, for you guys here on the here on the channel for Universe Mode that we might not be able to continue using RVD on Monday Night Raw in our Universe Mode if he wasn't going to be in 2K23, but he will be in the game, so that's another reason why I am very excited. And he, he very well may have been in the game anyway. He's WWE Hall of Famer these days. Again, he's not signed anywhere else either, um, but, you know, you never know with uh, so, some certain guys. Some guys are a shoo-in, some guys are not. But John Cena versus RVD, already announced, going to be a great one 
number four on the list, John Cena versus Edge from SummerSlam 2006. Now, you had to have at least one match with Edge in here. In my opinion, John Cena's greatest rival throughout his career. And uh, a lot of the times, John Cena was the winner of those matches. And I also went through like their entire history of matches on the, uh, uh, was it cage match online? And uh, even there, it was either Cena won most of them or a lot of them went to DQs or no contests and stuff like that. But there was three that stuck out to me that Edge won. One was New Year's Revolution 2006, which was, of course, Edge's Money in the Bank cash-in, but I figured that'd be too short of a match to really put into this whole thing, uh, so I, I decided to skip over that. The other one was Backlash 2009, uh, last man standing match for the World Heavyweight Championship, which the reason I decided to not put that one in is because the finish of the match involves the Big Show, who, of course, is in AEW, so we will not be getting him in this game. So, John Cena versus Edge. Um, and of course, Lita was involved in this matchup, I believe at some point in the finish. Um, but of course she can be in the game, obviously in association with WWE hall of famer, no problem there. And edge won this match. It was SummerSlam 06. It was in Boston, Cena's hometown one month before their epic TLC match, which Cena ended up winning, but edge wins this match. And he got to have at least one match with edge in here, because again, I believe it is John Cena's greatest rival, even though he has had great rivalries with pretty much everybody on this list. Gotta have one match with the Rated R Superstar, so my prediction for that will be John Cena versus Edge from SummerSlam 2006. Our fifth match in showcase mode, another match that a lot of people are predicting will be in here. Um, not officially confirmed, but it's one of those big time losses throughout Cena's career. John Cena versus Shawn Michaels from Monday Night Raw. April the 23rd, 2007. Now, this, of course, was a WrestleMania 23 rematch. John Cena won at WrestleMania 23, but Shawn Michaels won this match. It was a non-title match in the lead-up to Backlash that year. And they went uh, pretty much a whole hour, or, uh, you know, I think cut down without commercials. Um, you know, if you look it up online, it will be about 40-something minutes. But when you were watching it live with commercials, it took up the entire hour, uh, last hour of Monday Night Raw. I believe they were in the United Kingdom on that night. Shawn Michaels, uh, again, a guy John Cena has had some great matches with. Really, just those two stick out. They might have had a couple of other ones. But not necessarily one of Cena's greatest rivals, but certainly one of John Cena's uh, best matches throughout his career. And Shawn Michaels won this one. So I think you got to have this one in here. Raw, April the 23rd, 2007 versus the Heartbreak Kid. Next up at the sixth match in showcase mode, another one of John Cena's great rivals throughout the years, the game Triple H and his one biggest notable loss to Triple H comes at Night of Champions 2008, Triple H retaining the WWE Championship here. I would love, if this was just an overall Cena, you know, showcase mode like how it normally is, Cena versus Triple H. Um, from WrestleMania 22 would definitely be in here over this, as with the Shawn Michaels match from Mania 23, so on and so forth. But we're looking for big-time losses here, and this is the biggest one that sticks out to me and a lot of other people, as this has been rumored, and I believe um, uh, teased in the Showcase Mode trailer. So, Night of Champions 2008, gotta have at least one match versus the game in there. Triple H beat Cena on that night. That's the match to go. Seven uh, on the showcase mode list would be another match that is already confirmed versus the, the Animal Batista at SummerSlam 2008. Another guy he didn't have so many matches with, um, just this one, and then the string of matches they had in 2010 before Batista's exit. Um, and of course, Cena won all of those, but Batista won this one, which was their first match. Um, you know, at, at, at this point on this stage, I don't know. Obviously, they might have had OVW matches and stuff like that, but Batista won this one already confirmed. Definitely a great match to have in here. And we had an, a, an official finish SummerSlam 2008 arena in the game. We've always had the template. People make it on community creations every year. But we'll have it done and finished by 2K. So that'll be nice as well. All right. Eighth up on this list, you got John Cena versus The Miz from WrestleMania 27. Now, looking back, not the best match in the world. Very forgettable WrestleMania main event. But we're looking for big John Cena losses here. This is a big John Cena loss. WrestleMania, WWE title. I know I thought John Cena was going to be leaving as the champion, and he didn't. And of course, it was pretty much just to set up the match with The Rock, which we'll talk about next. But it's a notable John Cena loss. And it gives us an excuse to get the WrestleMania 27 arena in the game, which was a pretty nice setup. Not my favorite setup in WrestleMania history, but it'd be cool to have it in the game again. So John Cena versus The Miz from WrestleMania 27. Of course, that would lead us right in to John Cena versus The Rock, which is already confirmed for WrestleMania 28. As you, as I mentioned, already confirmed, this is one of the first things we have seen in the trailer, was this big time loss, and one of the biggest losses of John Cena's career, one of the best, uh, most notable matches of John Cena's career. And again, 
already confirmed. So WrestleMania 28 versus The Rock at the number nine slot in showcase mode. Another matchup that a lot of people are rumoring at the number 10 spot, John Cena versus Randy Orton from Tables, Ladders, and Chairs 2013. Now, another guy that you got to have at least one match in here with. Uh, outside of Edge, John Cena's second greatest rival in my eyes. But you can make a case that Orton's the first one. Really doesn't matter. But he's had a lot of matches with Orton over the years and uh, also has had a lot of victories over Randy Orton over the, over the years. So it was either between this or Hell in a Cell 2009. Uh, was another big loss uh, for John Cena against Randy Orton, but this one obviously more notable. It was for both the World Heavyweight Championship and the WWE Championship when they unified them the first time several years ago in a TLC matchup. So obviously this is the bigger match here. And it's the one that everybody's rumoring, and I also agree. So at the number 10 spot, John Cena versus Randy Orton from TLC 2013. So that would leave us with four matches to go and another match that a lot of people are rumoring and I also see being in there because this is, again, one of Cena's biggest losses, especially with how it went down. John Cena versus Brock Lesnar from SummerSlam 2014. Of course, this is for the WWE Championship and Brock Lesnar squashed John Cena on that night. Um, one of the most notable main events in SummerSlam history, I'd say, especially uh, most importantly because of how it went down. So I definitely see that being in here. And uh, I can already picture John Cena talking about it beforehand, before you play this match. And, uh, oh my god, this, this scene is that, this, the renditions of Cena throughout Showcase Mode are going to be so uh, rated 100, just on steroids. It's going to be ridiculous. But John Cena versus Brock Lesnar from SummerSlam 2014. At the number 12 spot on the Showcase Mode, you got John Cena versus AJ Styles. At the later part of John Cena's career in recent years, Definitely one of his best opponents, best rivals, and uh, was an awesome loss and an awesome match versus AJ Styles at SummerSlam 2016. Um, they got a, a couple of Cena and AJ matches. Um, I believe AJ won the first one, too, if I'm not mistaken, at Money in the Bank 2016. But the SummerSlam one was just one-on-one, -on -one, no Gallows and Anderson, and was probably... Uh, well, I don't want to say their best match. Rumble 2017 was pretty great as well, and it's been some time since I've watched them. But AJ Styles versus Cena, another big match for SummerSlam 2016. This may have been confirmed. I'm honestly not sure that I'm thinking about it, or if not, it's rumored. But point is, a big-time loss, and I see it being in showcase mode. Two more matches to go. Another one that is already confirmed. John Cena versus The Undertaker from WrestleMania 34. Obviously, not, not that it was the greatest match in the world, but it happened at WrestleMania 34, and Taker beat him in like five minutes. So now Cena, uh, the steroid CPU Cena, is going to be trying to <laughs> dethrone The Undertaker, and uh, this match is already confirmed. And then, of course, at number 14, John Cena versus Roman Reigns from SummerSlam 2021. Another match that is already confirmed. Um, probably the most, uh, well, literally is the most recent loss uh, for John Cena. Um, in his WWE career. And there's really not too much to add there, but I will say, if there's one thing they could add to this as a bonus match that I almost put in here, if it was going to be more than 14 matches, um, and it's really one of the only other big losses that I can think of that would be notable and realistic to be in the game, John Cena versus Sheamus from TLC 2009. Uh, of course, when Sheamus uh, shoved John Cena off the top rope, threw a table, and won his first WWE championship. Possibly to be in there. I kind of, if it's, I guess you can count it as like an honorable mention. I don't see it happening, but it's a possibility, especially because obviously Sheamus obviously going to be in the game. But that is the showcase mode predictions. Obviously, a good chunk of that is already confirmed. I filled in the holes where I see fit with some notable losses, notable opponents, realistic characters to be in the game. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And is there any matches that I left out that you would like to see? be in the John Cena showcase mode of course talking about matches that John Cena lost not won that that list would be a little bit easier would give us way more options but this kind of narrows it down a little bit so let me know down below in the comments we'll be back with more universe mode to come here in the WWE uh here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel for WWE 2K22 and we will be doing plenty of content for WWE 2K23 uh showcase mode we'll be playing it live streaming uh here on the channel we'll be playing my gm and of course we'll be continuing our universe mode in 2k23 as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this a uh, little bit of a bonus video i'll see you guys in the next one peace Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rider.